When I was in high school, I loved the band Korn. They were one of my favorites. They were they were like one of the only rock bands that I listened to. And in 2006, one of the guitarists from Korn, uh, Brian Head Welch, announced that he was leaving the band. He was walking away from like a $20 million contract to follow Jesus. And I remember hearing this story for the first time. And this was like years after I had graduated from high school. But I remember thinking, what? And he shared his story. So think about what sharing your story can actually do for another human being. I was so fucked up in my 20s, like completely fucked up, just fucked up in the head in many ways. And I was closed off to wisdom. I was closed off to the Bible for one, because I had spent many years in Catholic school having that shoved in my face. I was not interested in that. And so I closed it off, which was, you know, sad and unfortunate. But 2006 is when I heard this story of Brian Head Welch quitting corn. And, you know, he was like, he was the bad boy. He, he, he had this whole persona. If you know the band Korn, you remember in the nineties where they like their music videos, it was, it was all about like cars and fame and bitches and, you know, all that, all that kind of cliche stuff. So that was being glorified back then. And so they had this like larger than life image and Brian Welch was like this um, bad boy, you know, he, he, you just looked at him and he had that bad boy image. So I found that appealing in high school. And then the fact that he later quit the band, that really caught my attention back then. Um, I was actually floored by it. I was like, I was like, I need to read about this. I need to like learn more about this because it was intriguing and weird. And there was a part of me that was like, no, don't, don't do that. But you know, that's, that's what you think when you're not in tune with wisdom. So the fact that he shared his story got me open to investigating the Bible at that time because I had been very closed off to it. And so it like planted a seed. I was like, there must be something that he's seeing in this to make him want to walk away from that lifestyle. And it it just planted that little seed, like, okay, like interesting. And I almost dismissed him as crazy. You know, that's what your mind first does when it's like introduced to a brand new thing. And you're like, eh, okay, maybe he's like weird now, but he planted the seed just by sharing his story, just by sharing, you know, he said, I was, I was into drugs. I was into all this bad shit and it like ruined my life. And he had a young daughter. Um, he had like a, I don't know how old she was, like six or seven or something. And he knew that if he continued living that lifestyle, he would destroy his daughter. And so, you know, he wanted to be a good parent. He wanted to just walk away from all the crap and change his life. Now, the reason I'm sharing this story in today's Instagram post, um, not post stories, I was saying, you know, share your story. The way that you find your voice is by writing. You want to share your voice. What this society needs right now is not more voiceless people, i.e. people that are not sharing who they are or their viewpoints or their stories. And that's like the trend that they're trying to push us into. They don't want us to share our viewpoints. Like they just made it illegal to basically have a different viewpoint than the government. Like you're now considered a terrorist if you're, if you have a different viewpoint from the government, like that was released on February 7th from the department of Homeland security or whatever, but like share your story, share your voice. The way you find your voice is by writing, by speaking, by sharing and putting it out there. It's so powerful. It can change someone's life. You can plant seeds just by sharing what you went through, how you were here and then you were here and what you did to change. That's so inspiring and empowering for people to hear. Share your story.